Let's go! That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Holy tits, it's cold in here. Wow. Better get me a, a fire going here. Dang. Oh boy. All right, so today we are going to be talking about decoys. It's one of my uh, number one asked questions is how do you have so many decoys, what type of decoys you run, how many decoys you have, um, and how did you acquire that many decoys. So today we're going to go over all that and uh, drop some info on you guys. Try to help you out, try to get you a bigger spread for less moolah. Oh. What up y'all? Bob, Bob here. So today we're gonna dread we are going to dive right into some tactics, some useful tips in being able to buy a lot more decoys for a little less price. So first off, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Unless you're a rich kid, a rich dude, or you have just an unbelievable job and you're diving into this thing, you're diving into waterfowling and you're wanting yourself a big spread, you're going to have to clan up with some buddies straight up. Uh, get a group of buddies, three, four, five guys that all of you maybe have hunted together for a while. Group up and pitch in your money together to buy the decoys. That's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with that tip first of all because, you know, a lot of uh, these times and days you... You don't have the ability to go out and spend ten, twelve thousand dollars on a spread that uh, might be big enough. So, but yeah, it just literally takes just like a, a group of people that can trust each other. Honestly, you're gonna it, you got to look at it from a business uh, perspective. You're doing business with somebody you don't want to do business with somebody you can't trust. So if you're gonna be putting your money into something that someone else is gonna be using, first of all. They better be able to take care of it if you're not around. And uh, second of all, they better be able to uh, stick to the agreement and not back out and do any, any, anything crazy. So uh, tip number one is that. Um, by doing this, just like our group, we've been able to build our spread over an accumulative of years between four and five of us. And uh, now over you know five, eight, ten, whatever years it's been as a group, we're able to hunt fields, ponds, rivers, uh, whatever we, we really want to, but it took, you know, it, it took a good seven years of this uh, accumulative buying together. It didn't happen overnight, that's for sure. But yeah, once you have, you know, two or three guys to start with, look into to, uh, buying them. Start, start searching around and see how you're wanting to buy them, if you're wanting to buy them new or if you're wanting to buy them used. Uh, for the first, you know, three four five years we only bought used and here right here is a great tip on uh, how to find those good used decoys is you know find your local outfitters wherever you're at if you're in the midwest there should be plenty of to uh, pick from find your local outfitters if they're sponsored by a decoy company they're usually going to refresh their spread every year with something maybe one year they're going to refresh all their snow geese their full body snow geese one year they might refresh their uh, their socks, their wind socks. One year they might re refresh uh, their, you know, 20 dozen uh, darks, their, their Canadian full bodies. So find those guys and at the end of the, at the end of the season, like right now, especially when tax season co comes out, tax season, everybody gets their money back. Uh, that's when a lot of these decoys go for sale, not only because it's end of season, but tax season. Get on those darn Facebook buy sell trade sites. I know I'm here in Central Kansas. There is a great one in Oklahoma. Uh, look it up, Oklahoma decoy buy sell trade or something simple like that. But I guarantee you, if you're in the Midwest, like I say, your state is going to have a couple good ones for sure. 
a co you know, a couple good ones for sure. Damn bugs, man. It's it's literally 27 degrees out. It's flurry and snow and sleet, and there's gnats in my garage. Jesus. Another way, you know, if you uh, know a buddy or you have a buddy, you know somebody that hunts with some outfitters or you just want to directly find the outfitter on Facebook, message him. Don't be scared. Message him early in the season and say, hey, man, you guys planning on switching out any of your decoys in the, at the end of the year? If so, I'm interested in some of your stuff. Let me know. And that right there gives you heads up on everybody, everything else that can, uh, anybody else that can come through and, and potentially buy those decoys. Another tip, if you go th down this type of road, uh, in buying used decoys, pictures always don't do justice. I mean, there could, the guy could have took pictures of literally 10 of the decoys that were good and the other, you know, 100 or however many you're buying are just junk because he handled them like crap and didn't take care of them at all. So make sure you ask for extra pictures and always will and deal these guys, man. They're wanting to get rid of them. They usually have to get rid of them because they either got their new set of decoys already in or they're expecting them in summer or the end of summer and they're knowing they're going to have to get rid of these things to cough up some change to pay for the new ones. A lot of guys, you know, they may only get 20, 30, 50 percent off. The bigger guys will get them for free or whatnot, but they, 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 got, some, uh, they got some change to cough up when it comes around to pay for, the, for that new update of their spread for that year. Another deal with uh, the waterfowl market is bigger outfitters and guides. Sometimes they'll just switch out full sponsorships on decoys, and so the next year they can't run their old ones, so they literally have to get rid of them for, for cheap again, just literally to get rid of them. So check, the, check your local outfitters and guides. Get in contact with them. I guarantee you this is one of the best ways that you're going to end up with the most decoys for the cheapest price. But uh, in the end, you know, I always say the more the more decoys the better. You're never going to go wrong or have a worse of a hunt because you had too many decoys. It's all about how you put them, where you sit, and how you hide. So, uh, but uh, moving on, we're going to go to decoy size. Um, I'm just going to be straight up with ours to show you where we're at. I think right now, if I'm not mistaken, which I might be a little off, I'm not sure, but right now I think we're running like 600 socks might only be 400 socks or 300 let's just say 400 socks 10 dozen snow full bodies and then we have 20 dozen uh, full body darts that are new and then another roughly 15 dozen full body darts that are old those groups of darts are two separate uh, companies I'm not going to go into naming companies actually I am Avian X <laughs> Avian X is look by far the best. So one thing I don't like about Avian X's are the bags. If you guys have Avian X's, you understand what I'm talking about with those dadgum bags. Man. But they are great decoys. So roughly, what are we sitting at here? Thirty dozen dark full bodies, ten dozen uh, snow full bodies, and then roughly around four hundred white socks is what we're dealing with we also have mojos lay down blinds investing in a new a-frame blind this year gonna buy two of them to seat up to eight men that will be great it gets you out of the wind if you have never hunted out of a a-frame blind i recommend uh doing it for sure uh, I know the prefabbed ones are not cheap, but you can build them yourself, which I might make a video. And if you guys are inter interested with in that video of me building an A-frame blind out of your local Home Depot, whatever's products, I can do that. Drop a comment below and let me know if that's something that you guys are really interested in seeing because I think it's kind of interesting myself. Kind of get back to what I was saying about our spread. So the size of it, it took, you know, a good five, seven years of people putting in money together, four to five of us at a, at a time per year, of uh, building that spread to what it is. I got to give props, a lot of props, all props to my best friend Wade, who you've seen in a lot of the videos. He's the one that started our whole deal. We started together hunting, but he's the one that put down the initial payment. 
He's the one that owns the uh, enclosed trailer, and uh, props to him because without him, none of this would be going on now. So, but as for the socks, if you guys have looked at socks and you're interested in getting into any white type of spreads, uh, the socks you are the socks are a lot cheaper than full bodies. You can run a lot of socks, but you have to. My I recommend you have to still run full bodies. You, you can use the socks as fillers, but you can get a lot more socks for a lot cheaper price, for sure. Good <laughs> goodness, I'm getting all tongue-tied. Better get me a lipper here. So, if you go uh, invest in, into some of this here property of waterfowling, I recommend you, uh, for one, if you get a big spread, get an enclosed trailer, uh, get that sucker locked up, get you a big old tongue lock for that sucker. Uh, a lot of stuff gets stolen, you know, people, people are rat bastards out there. Gotta watch your hunting stuff, hunting stuff ain't cheap. But uh, take care of them things, if you take care of them, uh, they'll last you a long time. They really will, they really will. There's some of our decoys, some of our dark full bodies, our used ones that we've been running for you know, probably every bit of five years. We keep them on the stands and they're still trucking. Uh, I don't know how, because we do throw those things around. But Add to the enclosed trailer thing, I'm not trying to sound like cocky or anything, uh, saying that you have to have an enclosed trailer, but all, I, all I'm saying is if you get a, a spread that size uh, where you can hunt, like I said, rivers, ponds, and fields, you can keep all that in one trailer, so every weekend or every hunt that you're going on, you're not unloading it into the garage, then loading it back in and piling it in the bed of trucks where you can break out windows and, and do stupid shit like that. But but yeah, uh, the enclosed trailers just make it a lot, a lot easier to have all your hunts available right when you go out. But uh, I hope I provided you with some useful tips in buying your, your uh, next or current decoy spread that you're working on. Uh, I got a little news. Flair's coming to town this weekend. Yes, sir. We are going to do something completely different than that, that we have ever done, that he has ever done, I think. I've done it a million times, but he has not. So stick around for that. It is smoky in this thing. Stick around for that. That is going to be awesome. This weekend is going to be fun. Can't wait to uh, take him that to uh, to the destiny, to the pride lands, to uh, the motherland. A hint right there. <laughs> but uh, something else I really, really, really want to hit on is I finally made it to 1,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I've been doing this two and a half months, three months, and uh, I didn't expect it to come this quick with a, with a thousand. I knew it was going to be a rough going, but uh, I'm telling you what, there might be like four or five days that I won't get to posting something or putting something up. I think right now it's like at a week, which is pretty long, and I'm sorry about that. But you guys, man, I've got uh, a couple messages the last few days, and uh, they're just like, hey, dude, I love your stuff. Uh, I always watch it helpful blah 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 and, and man I really appreciate those messages I, I think any youtuber really appreciate really appreciates those messages uh, they are they're seen man and, and I appreciate every one of you that go out of your way to uh, give us that and make that camaraderie because it it, it, uh, it really means a lot man but uh, I want to thank you guys for watching if you have any other helpful tips uh, shoot me a comment down low. I always, I always respond to these suckers. So uh, I love talking to you guys. I love, I love uh, teaching you guys stuff. When you, when you ask, when you have a good question, I'm always there to answer it. So drop a comment, man. And if you like, please subscribe. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Bear. <laughs> Bear. 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 <laughs> That was bad right there.